Hey, Andy. Whoa, what have we here? Are you thinking about renewable energy, Andy? Well, that's great because it will reduce your carbon dioxide emissions and help fight climate change. But before you think about renewable energy, you should do everything you can to improve the energy efficiency of your home. For example, install wall and loft insulation, an efficient heating system, energy saving light bulbs. Oh, so you've done all that? Well, you're already using less energy. You really are becoming quite green, aren't you, Andy? You have checked that your roof is south facing, have you, Andy? No? Well, those solar panels may not be suitable for your home. Take a look at this. There are two types of solar panels, solar electricity panels, which use energy from the sun to run lighting and appliances in the home, and the solar water heating system, which uses heat from the sun to work alongside your conventional water heater. With both, the roof should ideally be south facing and pitched at 30 to 40 degrees. You'll also need to check whether you need planning permission. Wind power is another option, isn't it, Andy? Yes, that's the one. Wind turbines rely on the wind's lift forces to rotate the aerodynamic blades, and they turn a rotor which creates electricity. Great if you're in a windy location, no use if you're not. So you'll have to check local wind speeds to see if it'll be worth your while, and you must check to see if you'll need planning permission for this too. Ah yes, biomass is another form of renewable energy, but not only logs are used, oh, pellets or chips are used as well. In a wood-burning stove or a boiler connected to the heating system, it will provide heat for rooms and for hot water. Unlike other renewable energy technologies, burning wood does release carbon dioxide, but the carbon dioxide produced will only be the same as the amount that was absorbed by the tree when it was growing. It's called carbon neutral. However, only consider biomass if you have a local supplier. Now, heat pumps can be used to extract heat from natural sources, such as the ground, to heat your home. This type of pump is familiar to us all because the same process is used to run our fridge or air conditioning unit. Extracting available heat energy from one source and releasing it in another location. However, you will need to have some space for a trench or borehole and it's more suitable for homes with underfloor heating. Finally, if you live near a water source, you might want to think about a hydro system. Hydropower systems use running water turning a turbine to produce electricity. Improvements in technology mean that useful power may be produced from even a small stream. So, your roof is south-facing. That's good. Well, you're all set now. With all that energy saved, you can just relax. If you want to know more about how Andy became energy efficient, call 0800 512 012 or see the website. <laughs>